10 o'clock tonight, one family's encounter with a nearly 12-foot-long alligator mm. awfully close to their home. Can you imagine? No. <laughs> Later, Gator. Uh, now that family is talking about the moment that they will never forget. Mm. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live in League City where it happened. Brandon? Yeah, Chris, exactly right here on Friday and where we are is a canal that feeds into uh, Clear Lake. And because of that, I'm told alligator sightings, not uncommon here, but one that clocks in at 11 feet, seven inches long. Yeah, that's not common. Also, this alligator had its sight set on a four year old girl. That is until her dad noticed and jumped into action. Came straight up to the bulkhead and then sunk back down. Gusty, this gator. Its gaze? He was headed straight for her, there was no doubt. Grizzly, says Andrew Grande Sr. You can call him dad. You want to tell him about the alligator? Don't. Was he big? Yeah. To four-year-old Brandilyn or Bambi and five-year-old AJ. AJ fancies himself quite the caster, honing his craft in the waterway that abuts the Grande family home. That was the setup Friday morning. I happen to be standing kind of where we are right now, picking something up, and I just happened to look back, and not 10 yards from her was a nice, huge alligator just coming kind of straight in her distance right towards her. He was making a beeline for us. That's Robin Randolph, the babysitter. She and Brandilyn were sitting along the water when the gator reared its head then dipped back under. Andrew had knocked me into the gate and picked up Bambi and threw her over. Whether he was going to do anything, I don't know, but I wasn't going to take that chance. Look how big he is. Holy a call to the game warden led to Thomas, the alligator hunter. Took a big bite out of that noose, so he was caught instantly. Took a couple plywood boards, a couple heave hoes, too, before they could say, later, gator. It took about three hours. Hello? Four-year-old Bambi is safe. Good news here, and the gator were told is safe too in Beaumont. Good place. They were happy to have them, and you know we look forward to go visit them one day. Look forward to go visit them one day. So the gator is at Gator Country in Beaumont. Maybe you've seen that as you were on I-10 making your way to the Louisiana-Texas state line. That's where the gator will be. And the official count, again, I mentioned 11 feet, 7 inches, just over Dominique and Chris, 500 pounds, about 517 pounds, I'm told. The takeaway here, just be mindful, especially this time of year, because you will see gators in local waterways. We're live for you tonight in League City. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Quite the gator tail, Brandon. Thank you. <laughs> no wow. doubt.